There's more to makeup than just highlighting the eyes, lips and cheeks and there's a lot more to Neil Ramatar than the description makeup artist suggests. He's a fascinating personality with an appetite for life as I discovered when I spent some time with him recently. Putting your best foot forward is how the expression goes. But it may be even more appropriate to talk about putting your best face forward. Her face plays an essential role in forming a first impression. Neil Ramadar is an expert in the art of enhancing what nature has provided. For months, I've been trying to get some face time with makeup magician Neil Ramatar, but he's been in Cape Town, I've been in Joburg, he's been in Joburg, I've been in Cape Town, but now the stars have aligned and we're both in Durban. He's on his way, but he's organized some pampering for me in the meantime, and who am I to say no? Neil is famous for his eye for detail, and he and his team spare no effort in making sure that they have a specific shade or tone to make the most of each feature of every face. I really feel like a princess. <laughs> Each member of the team has a speciality and the process proceeds with calm efficiency. Hey babe. Neil, I've been <laughs> trying to see you for ages. Having fun? Yes. Let me finish you off. Awesome. I love the matte look. Okay, good. That's lovely. So, Neil, when you see someone's face for the first time in the raw, how do you go about planning their look? Honestly, it, I work on emotion. I feed off people's energy, and if you're giving me a good energy, then you're going to look amazing. Makeup can play a huge part in the theatre of life, but sometimes it can turn into a tragedy or a comedy. What makes makeup right for the occasion? I actually don't think that it's occasion-related. I think what you need to do is you need to find your best features and focus on that. Just because it's a wedding, you shouldn't be looking like a glitter ball and looking overly done. It should be naturally beautiful. And you don't want to see your makeup walking through the door first. They want to see you. You should never get the compliment, your makeup looks amazing. People should be saying you look amazing. What are your tips for winter makeup and what can we expect to be trending for summer? The trend right now is luminous skin, strong lip, which I've done on you, and a flawless clean eye. No shimmers, no glitters, and no liner on the inside of the eye as well. And for summer? Summer again is coral tones, illumination on the skin, highlighting, very little contour. Now that you're looking all cute and stuff, would you like to grab a drink? <laughs> I could not say no. Here you go, girl. <laughs> Neil has become a celebrity in his own right, with a considerable social media following drawn to his makeup artistry and his funky personal style. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Neil, where did your story begin? Well, the Neil story began in a small town called Verlum in Durban. I grew up in a very unstable environment with very strange parents. It was not the happiest of childhoods, but I made it work. It's often said that people are a result of their circumstances. Do you think you can turn a negative into a positive? And where did your drive and inspiration come from? I definitely turned a negative into a positive. My inspiration came from my friends and the normality of their lives. Um, my drive came from wanting to, to be a survivor, well, I'm a survivor. And when you are given nothing and you're given the opportunity to prosper, your survival instincts kick in. I am the first gay Indian male to ever be the face of a cosmetic brand. You believe in paying it forward. What charities are you involved with? I enjoy working with kids. That's my biggest inspiration, is to work with children. Well, last year we did autism, deaf awareness, and we donated wheelchairs. The charity that I'm working with this year is, I did a lot of research on it, it's kids that have been burn victims. So, like if they've been burnt on their face or heavy scarring, I'm doing a charity where I'm actually doing like this master class and I'm getting other makeup artists involved, and we're gonna teach them how to apply makeup on themselves to conceal the scarring so that they can actually not feel so uncomfortable in society. I know that you wanted to be a teacher at some point. Where did your love and interest in makeup come from? I wanted to be a preschool teacher, obviously because of my own childhood, but I love children. I'm always babysitting like all the kids in my apartment block. I got into makeup because I realized that being a preschool teacher would be a lot of work. How did your career develop? Completely by accident. I remember I got into a bus with 400 in my pocket. Makeup and Cape Town was, it was really like the hub in the early 2000s and everything was developing and 
I don't know, I just, it, I, got a, I got a flair for it and I just ran with it. Many people are very good at the creative side of the industry, but would you say you have to be an excellent entrepreneur as well? I found something that I enjoyed doing and I created an entire empire around it. If you work hard at something and if you drive it, it's going to be successful. Most people want to put in a little work and expect a lot. We put in a lot of work and expect a little. That approach has won Neil the respect and loyalty of his clientele. When superstar Priyanka Chopra visited Southern Africa recently, she could have brought her own makeup artist along from the United States. But instead, she asked for Neil. Just got Priyanka Chopra's makeup done. Can you say hi to, to my people? Say hi. Hello, everyone. I love you. They're pretty. <laughs> the makeup was in preparation for the UNICEF Gala dinner held in Josie, which Priyanka attended as the Goodwill Ambassador. I'm sure people are dying to know how you attract your celebrity clientele. I think they just look at me and they think, who is this crazy boy on social media? Hmm, let's try him out. I'm authentically me, I think that's why they like me. Would you ever turn a customer away if you were worried they'd be high maintenance? I'm high maintenance. <laughs> I like high maintenance people. I think the more high maintenance you, you are, the more you're gonna fit in, in my studio. You're currently busy with so many projects. How do you juggle this and keep your clients happy? With great assistance. My staff and my family, and they, literally manage my life. I mean, I have three assistants. The goal here is not about me. The goal here at my company is to make sure that everybody prospers. Neil, where do you see yourself in five years time? I think I reached my five year goal. So now I'm working on my 10 year goal. I want to be happy and married with kids and living in Cape Town. Neil, I have had the most fun chatting with you. You're wonderful. Are you gonna come again? Of course. Okay, we'll book you down, right? Yeah. <laughs>